Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trail Wilderness. I hope you guys are doing good today. We are doing well, but thought we'd <laughs> I thought we'd show you a little bit of our chaos. How many of you go through? I want to touch on this today because a couple things have happened to friends of ours recently, and. They've been discouraged and looking from the outside in, to me, it has looked like although things were falling apart, they were falling apart so they could fall together. I imagine most of you have heard that expression and, or that saying and that statement. But how many of you actually put that into perspective when things happen in your life? Do you ever consider the fact that when things get disheveled and are falling apart, that it could be things are falling apart so that the right things could come together? So I asked that today because that is the title of today's live. And not that we're discouraged at all. We're actually very thankful that things have happened the way they have in the regard that better now than later. Because later could have been total devastation for us. But right now, it just means a little bit of dishevelment and upheaval, a little dirt, and I want to mention that for those of you that have never lived in a tent or built your own home, um, for you ladies out there, I know I personally take great pride in being a homemaker, in um, taking care of my responsibility of making my um, home a cozy and comfortable and clean place. And when you are living in a tent, there's dirt. There's dust, there's filth, there's grime. You're grimy. When you're building a house, you're, especially the way we did it, you're full of sap, you're full of sawdust, you're full of dirt, you're sweaty, you're stinky. And you know what? It's all part of the process. I don't mind that. As a matter of fact, when it comes to a really good workout, when you sweat and you are really working out hard, for example, cutting firewood, milling lumber, to me, that is like the best workout you could get because you are getting an extreme workout all over your body. Sweating is an amazing form of detoxing and has been an extreme part of my healing. As a matter of fact, I have been processing so much silicone out of my system through this build. It has been disgusting and amazing at the same time. Um, all this time I've been... Um, getting rid of silicone um, in my in my chest, in my back, in my arms. Well, this go around, it's been my legs. It's been awesome to get that nasty stuff out of my system. So sweating is good. We need to sweat. We The more we sweat, the healthier we are, in all honesty, because it's excreting all the nasty stuff from our system. Anyway, I say all that. When you move into a house, when it's unfinished, you're going to have dirt. You're going to have things under construction. My new door is going in. It's not official. But look at my floor. It's filthy. My house is filthy right now. But I'm getting a door. I've got a wood stove. Yay! <laughs> the wood stove got moved in yesterday. And it just needs piped out. So it is starting to look really awesome and come together. But in order for it to come together, look at the cluster. Look at the cluster. I mean, my house is just a cluster. But there's more to that cluster, which I'm gonna share in a minute. First, I wanna say hello. I see Miss Tammy on here. Good morning, good morning, Jane. And yes, the cab, thank you. The cabin feels great. It is cozy. And yes, yay, I got a cook stove. I'm so excited. We're going to try to hook it up today. We are short a piece of pipe, and it's supposed to arrive Monday, but we need the dry heat, which I will share with you in a minute why. 
Um, so we are probably going to temporarily do a little something to get this wood stove going so that we have the dry heat more than anything. Copper, cut it out. Copper. Sorry. Dang, kids. <laughs> so when I say that things fall apart in order to come together or to fall together, sometimes you have that in life. And I want to really express to you guys that are interested in doing what we just did that you're going to have to not sweat the small stuff. And this may, to some people, be major, but it's really small in the overall picture of things for us, and especially if you've been following along. And, you know, yesterday's video or the day before's video, I'm sorry I didn't go live yesterday. We brought the wood stove in, and then I left to do errands. I was gone for four hours, and this is really funny. You guys have seen the hard work we've been doing and how hard we've been working. Well, we ate dinner and we sat on the love seat and we were watching Alaska Alaskans and I fell asleep. I, I was out cold. Those four hours in town are worse for me than working three heavy duty 14 hour days busting my butt. I kid you not. Going to town is so draining. <laughs> so I fell asleep on while we were watching that. But um, I just, I got home after dark and I figured I would just do our video today. Plus, we really want to show you guys. Um, you know, we've been transparent with you folks for 10 years and we're not going to stop now. We want to show you um, something that happened that needs to be addressed, that needs to be adjusted. And, um, I'll, I'll share that with you now. I'm going to venture upstairs. But I wanted to thank you guys. The Two days ago on the video, many of you thanked us for sharing this journey with you. I just want to let you know we're not done. This is a new beginning for us here in this cabin, on this homestead, on this property. And this cabin build has been something that we wanted to share with you completely. But so is our life. And so is what we do. And even more so now than ever, with all the chaos and craziness in our country right now, we feel even more led. Yes. I need you, to do you need me. Yeah, You're so sweet. I need you to put this flush inside. Okay, I'll do it right now. Ain't he sweet? <laughs> all right, hold on. It's not. Are you pulling on it? No, the seal. Oh. Um, guys, hang on one second. I'm going to set you down so I can make sure that I've got this right. So, this is how it goes. Okay. Pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty. You know what? Is there something flat I can put across here to make sure? Because I've got lock my fingers are on here funny. Whoa, what are you sticking at me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, about right. Okay. 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 You want your pencil back? <gasps> That's my nose. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So I just want you to know that um, this is not the end. We are in our cabin. We're finishing it up. We're going to continue to show you the water, the power, all those nine yards. But I'm, I'm hoping and praying that you will all stick with us because we're going to continue to journey into a, a land of preparedness and take you guys along on the journey. The mountain man put up the meat pole yesterday while I was gone. This door behind me will give us the freedom to lock the dogs inside and go and um, harvest our meat. We need to fill our freezer. So that's another thing we will take you along on. So... Our life is a day-to-day -day process of preparing for tomorrow, and I truly feel that we all very heavily need to be focusing on that right now. Um, I, I foresee um, unusual, an unusual future ahead of us. I think you are all starting to see the signs of that, and um, I want you to stay with us so that we can help you along on that journey. Okay, now, I'm venturing upstairs. Things are a little funky right now. 
everything is disheveled and the insulation, the bubble wrap, the second layer is down and everything is exposed. Okay, so let me climb up here and I'll explain to you what's been going on. Sorry, I get to stare at the bed for a second while I stumble my way up the ladder here. Okay, now, what we were experiencing is all in here, there was moisture forming, okay? And it was dripping down on this other layer of bubble foil. Now, for one thing, you don't want moisture in your house. I am deathly affected by mold. It almost killed me as part of my illness. So you don't want moisture in your home because that will form mold. Now we are using propane heat. Propane heat, for starters, I wanna share this. I have been in here since what, Tuesday? I've had a headache and head pain since we're in here. There's too many new odors and I think my biggest thing is the propane. So we'll be really thankful when, the, when we have the wood heat because we both love that dry wood heat. And it really, it, it's a much better heat for you than utilizing the propane. So in my opinion, and we're surrounded by timber. If we ran out of propane, we'd be screwed. But if we have a wood stove, it's endless amounts of firewood, unless, of course, a fire ripped through here and burned it all down, a wildfire. That's not the case right now. So, you know, you got to, that's preparedness lesson number one. If you are not, if you don't have auxiliary heat in your home, I want you to think about that. If you have electric or you have propane or you have some form of heat that depends on the system, if you have a pellet stove even that only will burn pellets, and not wood, you are gonna be sunk if any of those things run out or are unavailable, okay? So, sorry, that's one, so that's something you need to think about. But back to this, um, you can't have moisture, and we were trying to alleviate utilizing the insulation above our heads, and we were experimenting, because uh, this was supposed to be a guest cabin to begin with, but I think it's gonna become a forever home. I don't know yet. We both really, really love it. It's just, a, it's a great size. Um, so what we've done is we, we took down the second layer of bubble foil. And the reason this is happening, let me share this with you. When you put insulation up on any surface, it creates a buffer. So the roof is cold. It's warm in here. When you have that buffer in there, it gives a big buffer between the hot and the cold. And we did not have a big enough buffer. So what I did yesterday is when I ran out, I got some inch and a half, um, I just went totally blank, blue board insulation, foam board insulation that we're gonna put up in here. And it's better this happened now. I'm celebrating, this is a blessing because if black mold formed in here, I could not live in here nor should anybody else. It's really unhealthy. The other thing is, had we put a final, like say drywall especially, up on here and it had done that, that whole drywall would have been destroyed and imagine the mess. Uh, you know, right now I've got sawdust and I've got insulation dirt and you know, like we covered the bed so that it wouldn't get wet and our things. But I mean, it was like a rain forest in here the night before last. We opened everything up yesterday, opened the windows, dried things out, wiped things off, and now we are attacking this and, and handling it differently. But it's really, really important that you know you realize sometimes that when things happen, there is a hidden blessing more often than not, and there is definitely one in this situation. Yeah, it's a little disturbing. I waited to bring all my things in so that when they were in, they'd be clean. And, uh, you know, I even went to the extreme of washing sheets, washing bedding, so that when we were finally able to get in here, I, just had, I could put clean sheets on, you know, that everything was ready to go. You know, we plan ahead in extreme ways. So, anyway, that's what we've been up to. This is not the end of the world. 
and it was a good it was a good learning curve this insulation is great but it's not good enough on the roof to establish what we wanted to do so we will be putting the blue board up probably later today and then reapplying this and we should be fine but there was still too much of uh, a real close connection between the hot and the cold and that's what was happening um i saw some messages here um jane says yes we're feeling it so i met i know that that was said when i was talking about the chaos and just the weirdness of our world right now and the fact that we do need to be vigilant we do need to be prepared we do need to think outside of the box we need to think ahead we need to th think for for so much of the population they're not thinking their head is in the sand they're not wanting to address this chaos and you know yeah it's there we're not um devastated by it we're not depressed by it we're not in any negative form because of it we're aware and we're going to address life accordingly and that's what we need to do and, and and that's the important thing is not keeping our head in the sand and not being discouraged by what we're feeling or seeing but taking measures to be good moving forward. That's the important part. And that's what we're going to travel through with you guys. So Jane also says, I, I am smell odor sensitive also. Drives me crazy at times. Thank God you caught the issue now. Yes. And Jane, here's something for you. When I was sick, when I first came home from Georgia from, from my treatments, um, I could not handle smells at all. I couldn't even venture down the soap aisle. I still don't. That's by choice, but I couldn't before. I mean, I would get so sick. I'd get such a migraine instantly, and I would be sick for days. A friend shared with me to use lemongrass and smell lemongrass or put it on the tip of my nose or under my nose. And I'll tell you what, that was, that was a lifesaver, literally a lifesaver for me. Lemongrass desensitizes your sense of smell. You can still smell things, but it doesn't affect you the way it would without it and um i carry lemongrass with me everywhere i go because still like if i would have gone to church at that point people's colognes perfumes one of the biggest killers for me is fabric softeners i can smell that 10 miles away the, yesterday i stopped to get fuel and i don't really i don't like the smell of fuel to begin with but that had affected me for a long time i can tolerate it now but what killed i i actually chuckled to myself there i am pumping gas and this lady got out of her car and she had downy fabric softener on her clothes and it just hit me like a wall and i was like oh that smelled worse to me than the gas so if you do have sensitivities to odors, lemongrass will be your best friend. Diffuse it in your house, carry it with you, but utilize it because it will save you in, in so many situations, I promise you. That has been like my saving grace. One of the things I'm going to do when we get this all buttoned up and when the door's finished and, and we're closed in here is I am going to run my ozone machine up here and downstairs and uh, set it on a really high setting and, and run it just for a little while and, and run my diffuser with lemongrass and uh, thieves oil and really uh, get those extra smells out of here. I mean, I'm dealing with insulation. I'm dealing with drywall. I'm dealing with paint. I mean, my sensitivities are so bad that when I painted this floor then that night, all the skin underneath the li my lips and in my mouth was gone. And that's normal. It bubbles up from the chemicals and is it does it it goes away it's creepy um that's how sensitive i am to things and knowing that and coming into this situation i'm prepared i have the stuff i need to address these issues and be able to live in here successfully without being affected but right now I'm kind of glad that I did have the sensitivities because it was more up here than downstairs. And I think that was a result of the moisture. So, you know, being sensitive can be bad, but it can also be good. Hello, Aaliyah. She says, I have a praise report on that. I've had family staying with me and I haven't been reactive. Hallelujah. Thanks for your prayers. Absolutely. And you know what? When it comes to that issue, one of the things that I have learned... And one of the things that I did is I retrained my brain. 
And I know that sounds really weird, but our brain gets stuck on pathways. And our brain doesn't know any different than to be stuck on some of the negative things we think or th negative things we've experienced. You know, when you, you've previously been affected by something and all of a sudden, say, you smell it, your body instantly goes into a fight and flight. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are affected by it anymore. It's just that your brain instantly reacts. So what we need to do is retrain our brains to no longer react to those things. And I've done it. I'm going to actually do it again. I did it three years ago and it was insanely amazing. I could not get out of bed. I had such intense pain every morning when I would wake up. I did the retraining of the brain and I started it. It was a three day process. And, um, the first night that I had done it, I got in bed, went to bed. And when I woke up the next morning, I jumped out of bed and we both just paused and, and like looked at each other. I had to slither out of bed. I, it hurt so bad that my, so my body was transitioning to a new pathway that I was starting and I no longer had the pains. I also got rid of a lot of autoimmune diseases as a result of that. And, um, it's because our brain gets stuck in a fight and flight mode. So check out treyerwilderness.com slash retraining the brain. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing the power we have to heal our bodies. Um, and I don't know if Toy Toyka is not on here right now, but Toyka, I will email you back. Uh, we need to keep Toyka in our prayers. When she said about her back pain, this is not just mild back pain, guys. So please keep Toyka in your prayers. Um, and lift her. Also, continue to lift Aaliyah. That is just absolutely awesome. Um, and Aaliyah says, I heard that it's a liver issue with the MCS, that the liver is gunked up, so liver cleanse may help too. Actually, you are, are very right on that. Um, our livers have an extremely hard time processing toxins. I live on milk thistle. Every day I take milk thistle capsules. That has been a saving grace. I also wear my amber necklace because my amber necklace helps me to keep my lymphatics. I hope you guys can hear me. I feel like I'm screaming over top of him. Um, the amber actually opens up the lymphatic system. You need to keep your lymphatic system drained. Also, look on our channel for a lymphatic drain drainage. There are certain ports on our body that we need to keep open. I know that sounds weird, but when you watch a video, you'll understand what I mean. And if you can keep your lymphatic system flowing, it will help your liver to help process the toxins. And MCS is real. I mean, there are people that have been debilitated by it. The lady that uh, does the training of the retraining of the brain, she had to live off by herself, away from her family and husband in order to exist. I was very close to that. And I, I am a fighter. I am a researcher. I am determined to get well. I am determined to find answers. And that is how I healed and, and found her. Um, so yes, milk thistle is something that you should, you can drink tea, you can take capsules, but if you are healing in any way from chemicals, toxins, you wanna be taking milk thistle and every day. And you can find, um, get your supplements at a discount by going to treyerwilderness.com slash life extension, and you will be able to find uh, your milk thistle at a discount. Um, she says, I meant not reactive as far as chemical sensitivity, by the way. I heard that the liver issue with the, the liver gets skunked and liver cleanse. Help is not reactive. Okay. Sorry. I'm rereading. And she says, amen, Tammy. I'll be praying for you too. And the place looks great and you do too. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I feel a little rattled. Um, it's just been going to town kills me and my head my head is definitely feeling like I've got a lot of pressure in my head and that's normal when I'm around things that are making me flare so it's a process of of um working through it I actually took my milk thistle just a little bit ago and also some turmeric to help my body so when you learn these things and you learn how you can heal your body you know what to go to when your body is triggered our world is nothing but a big toxic mess that's why i hate going to town i can't uh handle the emfs all the toxins i come home my face feels 
like really strange. I like have to come home and just wash my hands and my face and and it's just weird. I can feel I I am so sensitive to that stuff and that's why I hate even leaving my homestead. I am very blessed to be here. Our morning view was amazing, and that in and of itself is like uh, utopia. Jane says, let us know when you're ready for a s'more party. I'll bring the supplies. We'd love to sit and chat. That would be awesome. And we've got plenty of wood for a bonfire, and it's wet enough to have fires. Okay, uh, Aaliyah says, I plan to do that soon, the DNRS. Yes, the retraining of the brain is amazing, and if you are dealing with anything autoimmune, PTSD, MCS, POTS, you can heal your body and get rid of these illnesses. So often, because of the toxins in our food, all the GMOs, oh my gosh, don't even get me started there, but the toxins around us are what are causing a lot of our autoimmune issues, and it's just a matter of our brain being stuck in a fight and flight trying to handle all this crap that is coming at it. So definitely, I will be doing a mini-series, video mini-series on uh, breast implant illness and how I healed from it, how I almost died from it, and all that I learned through it. And, you know, a lot of it um, will affect those with Lyme disease, anybody with autoimmune disease. There's so much to be learned through what I experienced, and I want to share it with the world because there are so many people following behind me. I get messages every day from people that feel like they're dying and that there's no hope because of all the toxins, all the silicone that's being put in our bodies, not just um, in, in implants, but in um, medical ports. Um, everything they're using in our bodies is, is a foreign object, and our bodies are fighting it. So I've got a lot to share. So it, I will announce when I'm doing that. And, you know, if you are dealing with health issues, even if it's not breast implant illness, you may want to join me because there's a lot that we can learn from our bodies and from our experiences. And I'm one of those people that I feel I have to share what I've experienced, learned, and know if it's going to help somebody else, you know, improve. So that's what I'm, why I'm doing this. Um, I also feel like God used me as a vessel to heal others as a result of me and my life-saving surgery. So, um, let me see here. Um, Aaliyah says, we'll do pray for Toika. Thank you very much. Um, and yes, she tried uh, glutathion recently and it seemed to help as well. Yes, that is another extremely important supplement that we should be taking as well. I will touch on that more. But yes, that is one that has helped me greatly as well. Um, let me see here. Okay, Tammy, you got to run. Love you too, sweet friend. Uh, have a good day and have fun. Oh, hi, Robert. Robert is joining us from Germany. Welcome. Are you guys under lockdown right now also? I know Ireland and uh, the UK is locked down right now for a four-week period. Are you also? And thanks for joining us. That's so awesome. So I wanted, I wanted to share our transparency here with you guys with what we've got going on upstairs here and, and share with you how we are uh, rectifying that and remedying that and um, also just the, the joys of wood heat and how wood heat will uh, also help you uh, with moisture issues as far as drying things out. But if you've got a moisture issue of some sort, you've got to address it. And, and better now, like I said, sometimes things happen. You've got to look at the blessing and um, in, in, in the positive side of everything. Had we put drywall up here, it would have been such a disastrous mess. Anything, anything up here, permanent, it would have hidden all that. You know, and it would not have been good. Um, so you got to look at things sometimes that, you know, even in life when we want things to go a certain way and, and it doesn't and you feel like you might be on the wrong path, oftentimes we are two steps away from everything falling together. You know, God has a unique plan for each of us and we always expect it to be our plan and in our time. And that's not how he operates. He works his plan out in his perfect timing. And I just wanted to encourage you guys because, you know, we all walk through crazy things with health and COVID and all kinds of crazy things. You know, even just water, you know, moisture 
forming in your home, a, a water heater blowing a hole, whatever the case is, flat tire. You know, and we all, you know, so often allow those things to devastate us. But when you see the silver lining, and there is always, I really believe that, there is always a silver lining to everything that happens. You know, with a flat tire, I often look at that as that, you know, God stopped me in my tracks right there so that I was there instead of somewhere else at that given time. You know, and when you start viewing life that way, you don't see the struggles as a struggle. You see them as a blessing and you just keep moving. So many people allow these things to debilitate them. You know, I, like I said, I'm a, I'm a homemaker. I like my house clean. I certainly don't want it like this. I just had gotten everything all nice and neat. It's material stuff. I'd rather be healthy than have it fancy right now. And that's the important thing. So just learn to view the unfortunate events in our lives a little different. Start seeking the positive and, and being grateful for, you know, the blessings that are hidden and, and learn to keep moving forward, faithfully forward. Because guys, right now with what we've got ahead of us and the way things look, you know, you could be in, in, in a corner rocking and be really depressed and I don't want to see any of you there. I need to see you guys up and moving, vigilant, and focusing forward on how we can uh, make our futures better despite what might be ahead. And that is with knowledge, effort, and, and being willing to roll. So I just wanted to share that today. And so glad to have you guys all joining us. Continue to join us through this. Um, we're not done with this. We're going to continue and keep doing the day-to-day -day so you can see us really wrap this up and get things together. And as we do that, we're going to share the rest of our journey because, like I said, we need to go and harvest our meat. So I'm hoping to get out a little later and sit in our hunting blind or go for a walk with the rifle and get my buck. And uh, he needs to do the same. And then we'll be elk hunting in black rifle or um, black powder season and muzzleloader season and uh, get our elk. So very excited about that. Very excited about the timing. We're going to hit the end of the season. But I have gotten my buck the very last day, the very last 20 minutes, three years already, just because it's the only time I had. And God's timing was perfect. It was standing right in front of me, broadside, very close. So just trust God's timing. It's always better than ours. I want to ask you guys to keep Aaliyah in your prayers. Keep Tammy and her family in your prayers. Keep Diana in your prayers. Toika in your prayers. Keep Mona and Ken in your prayers, please. Keep our friend John Sherman in your prayers. Uh, keep our friend Pat Kenny who will be traveling to Seattle to undergo hyperbaric treatments, which is awesome. I'm so excited that he has the opportunity to do that, to help him in his healing with uh, the jaw issues and the healing issues he has as a result of his multiple myeloma. So keep him in your prayers. Keep our friend George in your prayers and um, Flora and Opal's mom, Mary, I believe it is. Um, and I know others have requested prayers. Gloria asked for prayers. And uh, keep a note, keep, keep reading the other comments that are in these videos because there are other people requesting prayers, uh, sharing their praises, and, and also asking questions. So I'd love to see that down below. Keep coming up with your comments, uh, keep leaving your questions, and keep leaving your praises and your prayers. We've got such an amazing community here. I am so blessed by our community. Um, it actually renews me every day when I'm on here with you guys. Uh, it's just awesome. You know, there's a lot of trolls out there on the internet, but we have uh, really built up an amazing community of loving, faithful Christian people, and I am just so proud of that. So, guys, have a fabulous, fabulous day. If I forgot mentioning your prayer, please know that you are in our prayers. I try to remember them all when I'm on here, and it's a little difficult. Terry Perry just popped in my mind. He needs prayers for his back and his cancer, and also for he and June. So, guys, have a fabulous rest of your day. You know, I said we were supposed to get all this snow and ugly weather. Look at this. Look at this. It is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous sunny day, and I am going to get out there and enjoy it, get my deer, 
and just be thankful that I am here. So guys, you take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I love you all. See you tomorrow. God bless.